What is up, my dudes? And the one girl who just wants to talk about the puppies. This is Bike Spirits and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and this is usually where I say until it gets too cold, then we'll probably go down to two. But honestly, I'm probably just going to roll through the winter with three videos. We'll see how it goes. So let's jump into today's video. And I want to give you a little bit of backstory before we get into this video to let you know kind of how I got to where I am talking about what I am talking about today. Um, I was kind of surfing through YouTube and I saw a very clickbaity title. And before I get too far into this, I also just want to say as a caveat, if you know who I'm talking about, do not put their name down in the comment section. Honestly, I feel like this was an absolutely horrible video. It was absolutely crap. And the only way to get people to actually stop making piece of crap videos like this is to create an absolute void. YouTube will give you points and credit whether somebody watches your video, gives you a thumbs down and craps all over it, or they give you a thumbs up and tells you how great you are. The only way to make this stuff stop is to not actually click on it. For those of you that really, really need to see it though, and you know who I'm talking about and you know where to find it, um, YouTube also, it doesn't really credit you until you go over a minute of view time. So use the little preview bar on the bottom of the video, find the section where I'm talking about. It is literally under one minute. Just make sure your view time is also under one minute. But again, they're still getting that click rate, so they're still getting some sort of points. Let's just create the vacuum like inside this vlogger's head. So the clickbait was set up to basically make you think that a dog was either going to be seriously injured or fatally injured. And that's really not cool. Like to sit there and use that sort of setup to get people to watch your videos is pretty damn disgusting in my like point of view. I think that's that is a line that should not be crossed. Using like uh, animal suffering and pain uh, is just a bridge too far and you really are a garbage human being when you do stuff like that. It's absolutely trash. And this person did that. They did it in their title, they did it in their thumbnail, and then they even like double downed on it by using it as like the stinger in the very beginning of the video to keep you watching. What made this even worse was it's a 13 minute video and this entire thing took place over about 40 seconds. And it, it was just crap. It was absolutely crap. And the stuff that was teased in it didn't actually come to fruition. It, it is just absolute clickbait garbage that was just, it, it's out of control. It's gone too far. Now, I could spend a lot of time in this video just completely tearing this person down. But I don't want to. I want to put out something a little bit better. I want to put out something where it might actually help people who own dogs. If you can actually hear in the background right now, there's probably a lot of like wrestling and smashing and stuff in uh, my, if my mic's catching it. It's actually my two dogs, my two rescue dogs, upstairs beating the crap out of each other. So apologies. Um, what I want to do is put something better out into the world. So what we're gonna talk about today is pet carriers, dog carriers for motorcycles, and why you just really should not be using these things. Um, and the thing is with this, if you are a pet lover, if you really love your dog, you love your cat, you love your hamster, your guinea pig, whatever you're deciding you're gonna carry around on your motorcycle, you really should not be carrying them on your motorcycle. Oh my God, it's like, <laughs> it's World War II up there. Um, so here's the thing. There's a lot of carriers out there for pets that you can mount up to your motorcycle that range from 100% your dog is gonna die when you get in an accident to, I don't know, they might survive, but the outlook's not looking so good. 
And I don't think people are taking this into consideration. So I'm not gonna call out any manufacturers by name because I, I don't know their reasoning for it. They, they may be responding to a demand. They may be going, okay, well, this is still better than what people are actually deciding to use, like, you know, throwing them in like an Under Armour backpack with some bungee cords or something. I don't know. So I don't wanna shame them for trying to do something like this. But here's the deal. When you have these bags, um, there, there's no actual good safety on these things for your pets. Like, have you seen some motorcycle accidents? I'm gonna throw some up here. Like, look at all this stuff. Do you really think that your dog is going to survive when they're in a soft case, hard case, doesn't matter case on your bike? Do you think those like $20 doggles are gonna make it better? Or that like, you know, novelty helmet you strap to his head? None of that's gonna help. And I've seen some of these carriers promote certain like safety features which really aren't safe at all. Like you can get ones where you can actually, there's a built-in sort of like leash to keep them in the bag. That's great, but when your bike gets hit, that means your dog is in it until the end. So depending on how bad of an accident that is, your dog has to go through that entire thing and they could be strangled, they could be knocked out of the case and dragged along the bike if it's sliding and nowhere to go, no separation. Um, so these soft cases that have these, I mean, these are just fatal. Like, don't be selfish. Don't take your dog on a ride with one of these because you really need to put them in the carriage when you're going through Whole Foods because it helps your mental state. Like, stop it. And there's been some other dog carriers that have tried to get a little bit better. There's um, at least one out there that's like a hard shell case. And honestly, I thought about getting this for a little bit. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, man, if, if I get in an accident, there's a fair chance my dog is gonna die. Um, you know, you look at these hard carriers and I've gone on their site and their site will say stuff like, the safest carrier out there, like modern, like safety. Um, we're using futuristic uh, plastics and modern technology. Nowhere in there is there any sort of studies or any sort of visualizations or any sort of research or anything showing uh, what would happen to your dog in an accident. Like when you buy a car and it sits there and says like four star crash rating, five star crash rating. It's because they are actually testing these cars. They are putting dummies in the car and they're running them against walls. They're having things side impact and all that stuff. And they know how like the airbags are gonna respond, the seat belts are gonna respond, stuff like that. They have to do standards of testing. All these cases have no standards of testing. They have no regulations. They can basically say whatever they want. And when you're saying like, you're the safest uh, case out there, safe as compared to what? That's something that they also don't say. I mean, safe as in safer than taking my dog and putting him on the back seat and hoping he's there when I get to my destination. Yeah, sure, your case is safer than that. Good on you. But I mean like, think of like, just a hard shell plastic case and you get hit from behind, you get hit, like hit from the front, the side, whatever. You are leaning into a turn at 60 and you hit gravel. Think of all the people that you know or even possibly yourself when you've gotten in an accident or somebody you know have gotten in an accident and look at how banged up they are. Just imagine what like your animal, your dog, your cat, your goldfish, whatever you got in that carrier, what's going to happen to them? These things are absolutely dangerous. There is nothing safe about them. And if you're bringing your dog on this, it, you're just being selfish. Um, you may not think it, and you may not feel that you are. You may be getting very angry at me right now and like, you know, typing like, screw you, I love my dog, I love my pet, uh, whatever. Then leave them at home or bring them in your car or stuff like that. Putting them on a motorcycle, there is nothing out there that is safe, that is actually tested, regulated, and very safe for your pet 
when you are on your motorcycle. These are straight up 100%. You're probably going to lose your best friend if you do this. Now I know there's going to be people out there that are like, oh, I see a guy in my neighborhood. He uh, takes his dog and puts him on his gas tank and rides to the bar and, you know, his dog stays right there. And, or, you know, he's been in a backpack. Or I've seen that guy who drove all through the country with his dog in a bag. Yeah, you know what? It worked at that point in time. It's not going to work all the time. That is not the be all end all. That is like the exception. None of these people have been smashed into you by a truck from the side that didn't see them. No, none of these people have been smashed into you from behind from like a car that didn't see them and stuff like that. Go ahead and Google how many times like, you know, motorcycles being like rear ended and stuff. Look at the rear end and how absolutely demolished that bike is. Now picture the fact that like your dog would be posted up in either a soft bag or like, a, I don't know, a glorified tote on the back of that. They are taking the brunt of that impact. That's what you need to consider. That's what you need to think about. And that's what you need to like really, really ask yourself when you're going on that motorcycle ride. Look at your dog, look at your cat, look at your ferret and go, um, do I really want to take them on a ride where this might be the last time I ever see them just because I want to be able to say my dog was on my bike? Um, if you say yes, quite honestly, you're selfish. You're selfish, you're inconsiderate, and you don't care about that animal as much as you claim you do. Uh, I'm just, I am putting that out there as a dog lover and as somebody who has really, like I said, considered doing this in the past. And I have a touring bike, like it is set up to actually have these cases on there. And it just, at the end of the day, I'm like, no, this, they will die. And I, I don't want that to happen. I really don't. And honestly, I don't want that to happen to your pet either. And if it's something that you are considering, I hope you definitely reconsider it. Hey guys, I hope you found that video informative. I hope you actually take some time to think about this. This is actually my dog, Archer. Uh, he is seven years old. We've had him for about four years. He's a rescue from Arkansas. And uh, yeah, he's one of the reasons why I don't put a storage container on the back of my bike and go for rides. Um, Albus is hiding down here. I think his head just popped up a bit. He's a uh, one year old, also a rescue from Arkansas. We just got him. So uh, for Christmas, he got a forever home that he is very happy about and a big brother who is actually smaller than him. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family. Share it with that one dog lover you know that really just needs to take a minute to think about it and make sure that his dog is happy, healthy, and with them for years to come. He loves this stuff, trust me. I'll see you all on the flip side.